Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another stage of Etoile de Bessèche. Today it is stage number 4 and we are very close to the end and today can be a very good stage for the GC guys because it is a hilly stage. Not that much of a difference will be made but in the end we can make some difference because it finishes up here of course and then uh, we have the time throughout tomorrow but yeah. Today what am I going to do or try to do of course we have the KOM point for Nibali to go for and uh, then on the end if uh, Matt Pedersen is with a good day of course he's going to be the leader for today to try to get a win if not we can try with Molima because of the heal stats that he has but who knows and yep yeah, let's go into the stage and so guys here we are start of the stage we have already a KOM sprint right here in the beginning of the stage it is a second category climb and I will try to get some points but it's getting difficult to get out of the peloton so yeah we'll see if we can get it or not because as you can see the pace they are not letting me go I have to put a pace myself and yeah let's see if I can get it or not we are two kilometers away Nibali it is with a minus one day today but still let's hope that we can score some points as you are now on the last kilometer, let's just sprint to take sure that we take the points and Nibali will take the maximum points here, which is awesome. So let's see now where we at and we are first on the classification of this jersey, which is very good. And we only have one more KOM sprint, so let's go into that. And so guys, here we are already on the last uh, 15 kilometers of the stage and the breakaway still has more than a minute and of course now the peloton is just upping the tempo very very high so that we can catch the breakaway of course and yeah this final climb will be very difficult so I'm going with Pedersen because he is in a good day Molemba does not have the sprint or the acceleration so I'm just going to put him on the wheel of Pedersen and yeah I'm, maybe I'm going to use Alex Kirsch to launch him because it seems that is a good idea because he's on a good day as well and tuned just to put a pace on the flat terrain really. Nibali did not get more points on the, the KOM because the guys up front are not a danger to the classification so I let them go and I didn't bother about it. And yeah I'm just working now with Ryan Mullen and Vicenzo Nibali to try to catch the breakaway so no need for that anymore as we are already on the last 6 kilometers, so Let's take care of this. Let's try to put a pace now with Erdo Tunes to see if I can get into the front of this peloton, which I cannot right now. So come on, Tunes, please. And there we go. Last five kilometers now. Let's use the energy gel on everybody. And let's see what can we do. And so last three kilometers. Let's give everything with Edward Tunes now. Just uh, 99 almost not even that and now let's go with Erdo with Alex Kirsch on this hill with 99 come on 95 I'm sorry come on Alex Kirsch Postelberger is here as well let's start the sprint with Pedersen maybe it was too late who knows and Postelberg is going for the win and yes it is damn it and Lucas Postelberg is the winner of the stage Mads Pedersen just takes second place and I was too late to react really maybe I should go much harder than this and yep we, we didn't got the win once again damn it and so Postelberger is the winner of the stage a great sprint appeal for him Mats Pedersen just launched the sprint too late and therefore we cannot get a win that's my bad of course Boca Molema and Alex Kirsch on the top 10 as well but on a general classification we are the new leader so we are in first now with Matt Pedersen and Edward Tunes 2 seconds behind and I believe it's because the bonus seconds that we've gained so a very good result for Pedersen right now we have a jersey which is awesome and the best climber classification as well with Sandon Nibali as the jersey and is the winner because next stage it is a a time trial so we don't have any points for this I believe so we are the winners of this classification on the points of course Pedersen because of his second place right now is in first with 48 points just one point ahead of Oliver Nassen and on the young rider classification of course it is Filippo Ganna still and like I said it is a major contender to win this thing now on the time trial 
and so yeah guys i know i should uh, do better but remember i'm doing this on hard difficulty i normally don't play on on this difficulty but i want to make this challenge of course not to win every stage and yep i didn't win 99 with alex kirsch i didn't sprint with him in the beginning of the climb because i was afraid to get out of energy too soon like in the first stage that we had here and that's why i didn't did that but uh, maybe i should because Pedersen then just launched too late to sprint and post our guard win but yeah next stage it is the last one and it is a time trial a hilly time trial with a finish appeal so yeah let's see what race the condition my guys have because we have Pedersen with a good possibility of retaining this jersey although it's going to be very difficult really and Boca Molema just 40 70 seconds behind he can be a good shot to try to win this as well so yeah this is for tomorrow of course because today the stage is done this is it for now so don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow the last stage of Etoile de Bessage the first stage race of this year in cycling so yeah stay tuned for that stay safe bye bye